Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. We invite boys who have already gone to First Communion and young professionals to join the Altar Servers Ministry. They are the ones serving at the altar, assisting the presider at Mass. You may approach the chapel office for inquiry. We invite the community to join our greeters and collectors ministry in the intercessory prayer ministry. The greeters and collectors ministry are the ones assisting the mass goers to find seats and collect offerings. The intercessory prayer ministry leads the community in prayers like the rosary and the venus before each mass. Please approach the chapel office for your inquiry. We invite you for LBS, Liturgical Bible Study, with Father Francis Gostillo, SDB, after the 6 p.m. Mass every Wednesday. Paco Catholic School, College Department, Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies, is now open for enrollees for academic year 2023-2024. PCS is the first parochial school in the Archdiocese of Manila with a tertiary level that aims to produce catechists and formators with professional education subjects eligible to take up licensure examination for teachers or let. Scholarship application is open for early enrollees. For more information, email registrar at pcs.edo.ph or you may call 856-3150, local 638 or 649. We would like to appeal to everyone to keep your mask on while celebrating the Mass for everyone's protection against COVID-19. We would like to request everyone to refrain from clapping our hands at the dismissal of the Mass. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenbelt Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is April 30, 2023, and we are on the fourth Sunday of Easter. Today, we also celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, or World Day of Prayer for Vocation. Our presider for this holy sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Francis Gostillo of the Salishad of Don Bosco. Please stand and let us sing our entrance hymn. Bayan, magsiawit na bayan, pinagpala ka, dakilang biyayang pangako niya, sumilay na. Sinauna mong hangarin, ang taong ay tubusin, upang siya Mapagirong na Diyos natin Bayan, magsiawit na bayan Pinagpala ka, dakilang biyayang pangako niya Sumilay na, dakilang biyayang pangako niya in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, the goodness and love of God the Father, who sends him to us, and the power of the Holy Spirit that unites us into one flock be with you all. And with your spirit. 
Today is uh, the fourth Sunday of Easter. It's called Good Shepherd Sunday. We pray for our Bishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. We pray for our um, Greenbelt Chapel chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion. And of course, we pray for the Holy Father, Pope Francis. And all the priests that you know, what maybe have baptized you, still alive, or even dead, who gave you your first communion, to whom you go for confession regularly, we pray for these pastors. Coming together, therefore, we are asked in the gospel to know how to listen to the shepherd. And for this, let us beg pardon for the times we have listened more to other voices that actually is only meant to deceive us. Lord Jesus, you are the gatekeeper. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd of the flock. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give your life for your sheep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins. May he bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us into a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the good shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the holy and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen may i invite those who are standing to just come forward we have something like uh, 10 chairs here in front A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to their heart and they asked Peter, and the other apostles. What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you 
and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves for this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he had handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you had gone astray like sheep. But you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them. The sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. And so Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief instead comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I will just start from here because I cannot move very much with an old altar that although we'll use it today, but hopefully next week we'll have a smaller altar so that there will be more space. I think Father Dave made it smaller so that I could run around better. If I would be asked, what is this fourth Sunday? We call it the Good Shepherd Sunday. In a way, out of six Sundays of Easter, the first half, one, two, three, is all about the event, what really happened, or what is this Jesus is risen from the dead. But if we are going to do now four, five, six, we're talking about the implications or what actually is this Jesus of Nazareth in the relationship to the world. And today, he is the Good Shepherd. Next Sunday, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And on the next next Sunday, bumalik na lang kayo dito, hindi ko pa nababasa. But definitely, it will talk about the famous I am. I am is a very old Jewish understanding of ego eimi in the Septuagint or Yahweh, the God who am or who am, I am who am. Diba? I am. I am who am means ako nga. Ako nga siya. Ako. And when he talks about I am, I am always and never was, never will be. I am. Always present. I don't have a past. I never began. I will never end. I am always. I am. So these three Sundays will signify the Jesus, the God in Jesus. 
Jesus as truly the image, the likeness of the Father, and He is therefore God, I am. But then, it's not so easy to know this God, mysterious as He is. Baba na po ako. The mysterious I am, Jesus puts figures of speech, or better, metaphors. Metaphor is not just a fictitious element. Actually, it is something that you meet or you come to term in the daily life. Now, of course, we are in an urban area. We don't find shepherds and sheep. But if you go to Jerusalem or even Judea, at this time, even in this 21st century, you'll find Bedouins, nomads, who are shepherds. And you will find them in the desert. How did they do that? Well, where will you go with your sheep in the desert? Well, you will travel. And if you are in Judea, the Bedouins or the nomads, will you find them around the area near Jericho? Because Jericho has a spring. Especially later still, further still, along the Dead Sea, you find the famous Engedi. Ain means water. And in that water uh, oasis, if you would call today, you have a very lush, very beautiful valley of plantation. Would you realize that Israel, with such little land, but because of their famous agricultural, agricultural industrial uh, implements, they are able to export mangoes and bananas that need a lot of water, especially mangoes. In that little place, you will see a full kind of forest with bluish, we could call it plastics maybe, that wrap around the bananas against whatever elements of the desert. Now, shepherds know that place has water, and therefore it has grass, and therefore the sheep can be put into pasture. Sa atin, ang pastol, tagabugaw. Uy, doon ka na. Ubus na dyan ang ano, ang grass, doon pa. Sa kanila, inuubos ang damo. They consume it. How many? Days, weeks, three months. They eat all the grass near the oasis. And they really consume it with 20, 30 sheep, lambs or goats. They'll completely take it away. Eat it because after three months, they will walk home with the shepherd in front of them on a desert. And the desert is with wild animals. And there will be crevices. And this shepherd will take care that not one single sheep will be lost. Now, these shepherds are many. It was their industry at that time. Why? Well, if you go to the church in, in Greenbelt and you offer prayers and you ask for the Mass to be offered in the name of your deceased relative, or for the birthday of this or that, or for the anniversary of wedding, the, 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 the Jews will buy a sheep to put to slaughter and sacrifice in the one single altar in Jerusalem before the temple. And it is, I would say, the dirtiest altar in the world. If every day they wash it, I mean, they put blood of sheep and goats on that altar, they don't wash it anymore. It keeps on coming and coming and coming. They wash it on a, on a moment called Sukkoth. Otherwise, that altar has always the blood of the Lamb. You can imagine how much how many are offering lambs? 
Joseph and Mary can offer only two pairs of turtle dove, a pair of turtle doves. They were poor. But the rich can even offer a bullock, a bull, a cow. Now, it's good industry. What will they do? They will preserve the sheep. Now, if this is Greenbelt Chapel, think of a quadrant, one fourth. That's already twice the size of a coral. Yung bang coral for the kawan? That's already twice this one. But important po is that there's only one gate. Everything is enclosed, not with high, as high as those walls only. Then comes the ground. What is the gate? The gate is the gatekeeper. The shepherds, plural, take turns and they sleep across the gate Every day, one at a time. Now, what do you mean by shepherds? Well, I have 20, you have 15, another have 50, another have 30. Probably, there are about 100 sheep inside this corral. How do you know which is your sheep? Yung bang pinakamataba palaging sa'yo? Kasi mataba ang shepherd. Hindi. They know your voice. They follow when you call. How do they know your voice? Does your daughter know your voice? How come? You're with her all the day. You call her by name. If a shepherd is three months in the desert with his sheep, he calls them by name. He calls one pute. He calls the other blacky. He calls the other one, I don't know, big nose, whatever. Iba? They were very intimate with the shepherd, every sheep. I call my sheep by name. So when he makes a sound, the sheep knows the sound. They follow the shepherd. Why? It's time to get fed. Time to walk. If you don't follow, you die. Because you will not notice the other voices of other shepherds. You cannot join them. You don't know the voice. They are a strange voice. Because of this, the work of a shepherd, unlike what we know today, is very much full-time. 24-7 as we would say today. Now that full-time job of a shepherd makes Jesus say, not the good, he said the good shepherd, but he says, I am the gate. Bago muna, the good shepherd, you can read that later. I am the gate. And what is this meaning of the gate? Ako ang tanod. Hindi ako trangkahan. Hindi ako, I don't know what kind of a grill gate. No. He is the one sleeping across the opening of the coral. No one can enter except through the gatekeeper. Because he is also the gate. Now, if you're a thief, you have to climb over. And the thief has only one thing, to kill and destroy, to rob and get his own sheep, I mean, get a sheep that is not his own. Of course, they will scatter. Of course, they will, you know, sheep, sorry for the word, they're quite stupid. So they don't make a sound. But they just scamper. And so it's easy to, to get them. It's even easy to fall. Sheep, they only look the distance of what they eat. They don't look left and right. They're so focused, they could fall. And so now you see the bishops, merong kilo, sa kanilang staff. It has something roundish to get the sheep by the neck who fell on the ravine. It's very easy to see now this figure of speech, this metaphor. Well, now, we don't have that kind of sheep and shepherd relationship, but we are. He is the gate. And the next question is, my sheep listen to my voice. 
are you wag, wag, relax lang. Are you the sheep of the shepherd? Are you the sheep? What voice do you listen to? What is the voice of the shepherd? It's a sound of silence. It's where in your heart it already says that is correct. But it's hard that is correct. Do it. The voice of conscience that says that is good. But it's difficult. That is good. Do it. And you will find life. Not food. Not physical food. But spiritual growth. So, when you listen to the voice of the shepherd, the voice of your conscience, definitely, if it is true and it is informed by the Word of God, by what you do at Mass every Sunday, then it tells you the path to life. So Jesus said, I came that they may have life. Life in abundance. Abandon po bang buhay ko? Look at my, look at my body. Am I abundant? No? Galing, no? Abundant. Bro, magkalapit na tayo. Magpinsan yata tayo kasi bigat. No! Bios, biology, is physical life. I have come to give life Zoe. Zoe is life eternal. Life of great joy and glory. Only He can give you that life. Why? Because only He came from heaven. No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down. He knows the way to heaven. Now, the point is this. I came that you may have life but have it to the full. You know, how would you follow him? How would you follow this shepherd that says, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly? How? Give your life as I give mine. How? Today. He gives himself. You and I, we pray. One hour. Haba kasi ng Ceremony, Father Francis, isang oras kami dito. Buti pa yung mga ibang mga inisa, 30 minutes lang. You gave one hour to Jesus? He gives you His body? His whole self? Tinitingin natin siya eh. We are so, you know, we, we are on scraps. We want the scraps of life. Binibigay niya ang paraiso, gusto natin kapiraso. With this, sisters and brothers, Peter shared that voice. He followed Jesus. Though he doubted him, he even said, I do not know him. I am not with him. But Jesus came back for him. And he believed in Jesus. Now he's even willing to give his life, not for Jesus, but for the gospel. And with that, he said, whoever listens to that voice of Jesus, what shall we do? People said, they were cut in the heart. Sabi niya, repent. And you will be saved. Magbago ka ng buhay. Panibaguhin mo ang iyong pag-uugali, pananalita, pag-iisip. Huwag mo lang isipin ang sarili mong kapakanan. The first question normally is, what's in it for me? No. For whom am I? Every morning. Pinigay sa akin ng Panginoon ng buhay, not bios, kanyang buhay, para kanino ba ito iaalay? Then, you will be saved. 
Napakadali niyan, mga magulang. Napakadali niyan, mga mag-asawa. Mag-asawa kayo, di ba? You give your life for your daughter, right? How about you give your life to your wife? Iniintrega mo ba lahat ng iyong sweldo? Walang kaltas. Credit, debit, kupit? Wala. Alam niya, nasa kanyang iyong ATM. Huwag naman. Kawawa ka naman. Pero alam niyo, mga kapatid, ginagawa natin yan. Pera-pera lang nga. Nag-aaway tuloy tayo. Pero you give your life? Talaga? Of course. Look at their daughter. Kung saan-saan nagpupunta, hindi ko alam. Nagsiswimming na ata dyan sa labas. Pero, tingnan nyo ah, pinapakain, pinapa, binibigyan ng, ng, ng bahay, inaasikaso sa pag-aaral. Meron bang listahan ka, ma'am? Sasabihin mo sa daughter yung pag-1021, oy, lahat bayaran mo. Mula sa iyong sinuso sa akin hanggang pinag-aral kita. Wala! You give your life. Now, you don't have to give it only to your own. You give it to everyone that needs life. And God will send you others. And the purpose is not that you may give at maawa. Kaawaan yung sarili nyo. Because if you do, you are saved. Ang lahat ng tulong natin sa ating kapwa ay para sa aring sariling kapakanan. It will be our path to salvation sapagkat gumaya tayo sa Kanya. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I am the gate. Pumasok tayo. Nang tayo ay become safe pero magpalabas tayo listening to His voice that we may be fed and nourished. And in this relationship with the Good Shepherd, let us be determined that all of you who are actually shepherds to the sheep that God gave you, including those people under you in the office, give them not physical needs alone. Give them the example of the spiritual life. Dream the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God. Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus, our divine shepherd, never leaves his flock untended. In all ages, he calls generous souls to be the visible instruments of this love. Today, let us pray in a special manner for all our shepherds, pastors, priests, bishops, and the Holy Father, but above all, our fathers and mothers who represent Jesus among us, we are called to fulfill this role of shepherd. Let us say, Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear us. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear us. For the whole church, may she experience an abundance of good 
and generous priests and religious who edify the people with their good example and lead them to holiness. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus good, good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. For all parents, teachers, and civil authorities, may they be faithful to their mission to promote the good of the persons entrusted to them. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus good, good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. For our young people to whom God addresses a special call to serve the church as her ministers, may they respond generously to the call and persevere in their vocation. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus good, good shepherd, shepherd, hear us. For the vocation promoters and those who work in the formation houses, may their efforts and prayers bring to the church the good junior shepherds she needs. Let us pray. Jesus, good shepherd, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Jesus, good shepherd, hear us. Lord Jesus, send your church many holy priests and religious to be shepherds of your flock, the church. In imitation of you, the good shepherd, may these and also parents continue your work of love and compassion, leading your children into holiness, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we gather today in your house. We kneel down and pray. As we open our hearts to receive your forgiveness, O Lord. Lord, we lift up to you all these gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread, we will drink this saving cup. And feel your presence, O oh Lord, as we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine. Bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives. And together we will serve you with love. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant me, pray, O Lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that, the renew, that, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of also our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times <clears throat> to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lodge you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For the old order was destroyed. A universe cast down is retrieved. Integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we say. <coughs> Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Oh, 
For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as you a sign indeed, of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered <clears throat> into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, the clergy, and all our lay leaders. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, our own martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him, with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Confident in the Lord's goodness, we all pray, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh yes, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Please look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her our own families and neighborhoods, this community of the Greenbelt Chapel, and our country, the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other now a sign of peace. And behold, Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. He is the gate, the gatekeeper, the good shepherd all rolled into one. He leads us to life. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be stationed near the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Oh, no, no. 
is compassion. We give our lives broken down a poor. We will serve the Sing you, we love you. Without touching you, we embrace. Without knowing you, we follow. Without seeing you, we believe. We return to you deep within. Leave the past to the Turn to you with tears and fasting. You are ready to forgive. Without seeing you, we love you. Without touching you, we embrace. Without knowing you, we follow. Without seeing you. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, Good Shepherd, and be pleased to, to settle in eternal pastures the sheep that you have redeemed by the precious blood of your only Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go now and love Christ and each other. Thanks be to God. Umayot ihaya, purihin siya. At ating ibon niya, awitan siya. Pagliligtas ng Diyos na sa krus ni Jesus, ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos. Langit at lupa, siya'y papurihan. Araw at tala, siya'y parangalan. Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanah. Alleluia! At isigaw sa lahat, kalinga niya ay wagas. Kayong dukha sa lahat, pag-ibig niya sa inyo ay tapat. Halin at sumayaw, buong bayan, lukso sabay sigaw, sandiputan. 
Ang nga lang yang ang king singing ng bitwi Liwanag ng Diyos sumaatin Langit ang lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangalan Ating pagdiwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Sa tanan Ating pagdiwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Hallelujah!